Hey everyone, happy Thursday. I hope that you're doing okay wherever you are. Uh, today, um, I had a good day actually, a really good day. I got to spend a little time with my sister and some people that I hadn't seen since last year, um, uh, since I came back um, to, since I came back to where I am right now. Wow, so it's really, um, it got me thinking about community and uh, it got me thinking about community. So I know that some of you are, wherever you are, I don't know whether you're social distancing or you're on lockdown or I don't know what type of situation you have, but there are people in your life that you haven't seen in a while. And um, you miss them terribly. And I know some of these situations are really crazy. Maybe some of you lost touch with some of your friends, with some of your family. However, you know, it's been really rough for a lot of people because um, I guess this is the first time in people's lives where they had to stay home. And... Um, or if they even had a home because there are some people who just did not have that option of knowing where to go. So we also need to be mindful of that and grateful for the little spaces we have. Hi, Kaine. And we also need to, and some people had a home, but it wasn't a safe space for them to be. So there are those different types of dynamics or your home and then you realize maybe the person that you're with, your partner, that you really do not, not did not have anything in common. So when it comes to community and let's say you need support and you're not getting it, how are you able to ask for help um, when you need support? Um, because sometimes we live in a society, um, or actually we do live in a society when people ask you, how are you? And the first thing that you're going to say is fine, even if you're not fine. Or you worry that if you do actually tell people how you're really doing, that they're not, they're not going to be able to handle it. And when it comes to community, there are some communities where um, people, they're hum like they're so ingrained and ingrained into the their humanity that even if they they just know that you need help and they'll just step up and just do the things that you may have a difficult time enunciating or a difficult time vocalizing i think that was the word that i wanted to use so um when it comes to community it's it, it depends on where you're from sometimes it can be really tight knit sometimes you can come from a com community that's individualistic but then you do not have um like they support but they support to a certain level if you know what i mean so i can give you an example uh for instance um i know for a fact that in in Kenya for example if someone were to pass on the first thing is your neighbors would come together some they'll bring you food or they'll come cook for you or they'll bring you supplies because they know that you're bereft and you can't really do anything um, and people stay with you like people come over they stay with you they keep you company until maybe after the funeral then they probably just leave but your house is always busy with people in other cultures they may view that as being intrusive and maybe people need their own time so sometimes there has to be a balance between that um and in finland it's different it's like when someone passes on um you plan the funeral and and the community like basically the state pays for the funeral and you, it's kind of like a wedding. You kind of have to invite people for the funeral. But I, that's not for everyone. I'm just talking about the experiences that I've seen that happen. So, hi, Lanza. So, basically, um, when I talk about community, is that are you living in a space of community that you resonate with, that you like, that you feel supported in? And if not, what steps are you going to take to do that? Um, for example, 
for example do you do you, are you do you live in an uh are you living in a, a community that is abusive because you know community could even be your family um are you living in a community that's loving and are they able to know who you are sorry about that i are, are they able to know who you are to the point where when they call you and they hear your voice they're like they they know that you're angry you're sad do you have that close knit community and i know there are many people who miss that and who would love to have that and they don't feel that it exists um and i think when it comes to community there's also that thing of the programming of do you do you feel value or do you have value within yourself right so it's about thinking about what's important for you now and in the future that's why um when i talk about some some of the some people find their communities online because they may not have um people within their when within their when they within their vicinity to have people that they can actually talk to and reach out to and sometimes uh, connecting with someone online might give them that space because they don't feel like they have to pretend right so um if you do not have a community for yourself are you willing to create one um for example to meet your needs or are you willing are you willing to look for one right so then it's all about balance and thinking about what it is that you need and we all need different things and not everyone can fulfill our needs but we also need to be honest with ourselves by asking um ourselves what it is exactly that we need and i would say a good tip to know whether you're in the right community is how you feel around them cuz feelings can feelings are like senses right if you leave a community not feeling very supportive or very sad or you just feel drained then that is not um a very good community to be in and it could also be that you're feeling ill and you you know sometimes we there are those times where we just need our solitude so and are you and the other thing about communities like are you a, are you able to be by yourself are you able to be on your own as well are you comfortable with yourself because the other thing is that there are some people who are so used to having community to the point where when they don't have it they feel lost but are you able to also be the lone wolf um in your life so when it comes to community um the my three <laughs> three the three things that i go to is like how do i feel um uh am i bringing something to the table and the third thing is am i able to be fully expressed am i able to express myself if i'm not able to express myself um fully in whatever i'm thinking and whatever i'm doing then maybe that community is not for me and i'll i'll take a step back and there are also other people within communities who maybe you may be on a different wavelength um you think differently you do different things and you may not connect because you like I'd already talked about vibration um like you live on a different frequency so maybe that person is not getting you but maybe in a few years later or a month a few months down the line they might get it they might understand where you're at um for example those people who decide I'm going to be an entrepreneur and everyone is like looking at them like you're crazy you know like I love my job and it give me that security but then now when when um when the pandemic hit or oh, some people call it the pandemic hit um then people had to hi sammy um so those people had to really think about what 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 is it that they're going to do with your lives uh, with their lives because there's some people who are thinking hey you know like okay like a job uh, having a job is security and then all of a sudden people get laid off and people were probably thinking content creators were crazy and then like um like what type of job is that and then they realized that oh okay this is how you work online so then content creators ended up being educators um to people who are so used to the office and all those people who had not moved from um analog to digital had to conform and for those businesses that do not um work on the digital space it was really hard for them so it's also about being flexible and figuring out what's important to you and uh so speaking of community basically i am i call myself a soul healing invoker 
and I'm really an advocate like I really like talking about healing I like talking about feelings and all these things and stuff and that's why I was giving you a way to gorge if your community because I feel like when you're in a space where you're accepted for who you are you're able to thrive it's just like a plant you know if you don't water it if you don't give it light if you don't give it a bit of warmth it's not it's not going to thrive. It's not going to grow. And even the way you speak to a plant as well, because people say um, the best thing that I, th I think I read somewhere that the best thing you can do is if you have a plant, buy it and name it, name it by like name it, like name it the same name as you and speak to it and take care of it and water it. And then it will thrive because it's like you're speaking to yourself. And I thought that I think I'm going to buy a plant and I'm going to try that as well. So I uh, so I feel like we should also nourish ourselves a lot um in the way that not only with our communities but with the way we speak to each other um with the way we speak to ourselves mostly and um and i think that's uh really important and it'll help us have uh the tools to realize what community works for us and what community does not and some people feel that you're stuck and they may be stuck in sorry about that they may be stuck in certain communities because they don't have the freedom to move um, however, I always say that we're not trees. Um, we have the ability to, to move and create new and, and create new roots wherever we choose to. And, it, and community can be found. Your tribe, your vibe attracts your tribe. So think about that the next time you're in, within a community. Um, yeah, so if you're if you want to join my community, you know you can always sign up from my website. I post an email. I try not to bombard you maybe twice a month or once a month, um, depending on. And if you missed out on the offer for the healing session, I'm so sorry. It ended yesterday, and that was the last time that I was gonna have it at that price. However, I um my prices are changing in September. If you want to have it for the full price for now, it's gonna double in September. Just send me a DM, and we can get together. However, in September, I'm gonna have a 30 day healing challenge. If you're interested, DM me. Uh, actually I actually have to put the I think the details are on my website. However, um under events so if you go to monversation.com and you go to events you will find my details there and um, you will find how to sign up for the 30-day healing challenge that starts on 1st of september if you're into healing that is um, and you feel that um, you need that boost um, so anyway i wish you a lovely thursday and I will catch you later somewhere and I'll come live again on Sunday, but I'll just be posting now and then. But thank you for joining me for those um, who who are here live. Thank you, Kagania. <laughs> thank you um, for here live. And for those who are watching the replay, hi. <laughs> and have a wonderful, wonderful, wonderful Thursday wherever you are. Take care. Bye.